Hello folks, hope you're all keeping well these days. Welcome to a basic bunker building tutorial. I'm going to walk you through the resources required and the steps you need to take to build a basic defensive bunker. Building a basic defensive bunker like the one I'm going to show you can be a great way to plug a choke point, defend against partisan activity, or provide a relocation to launch an invasion. Bunkers can be difficult to destroy without explosives or coordinating team effort, making them a great defensive structure. A word of warning, building bunkers alone will destroy your soul. Grab a buddy. Starting out, you will need a construction vehicle full of basic materials, a shovel, and a hammer. I also recommend bringing a pair of binoculars and a radio. Hopefully, you already have a location picked out where you would like to build your bunker. We'll build our bunker in this mountain pass along the roadway. Keep in mind that the bunker will have a range of 80 meters for which it will be able to provide active defenses to foxholes, anti-armor turrets, rifle garrisons, or other defenses. This mini bunker design can easily be expanded with further outbuildings to prevent enemies from passing. Once you have driven to the site, start by digging out a bunker using your shovel in the 2x3 pattern on the screen. Use a blueprint to check and make sure the area you are planning to build does not have any hidden areas you cannot build on. In order to build the basic bunker piece, also known as the bunker base, that allows players to spawn, store equipment, or provide active AI to nearby structures, you need at least five connected bunker pieces. Once you are finished digging, you can use the construction vehicle to build the bunker base upgrade. Make sure that there are at least 300 basic materials in the inventory of the construction vehicle. Press the F key to enter upgrade mode and target the bunker piece with the construction vehicle and select the bunker operating base. You can use the mouse wheel to modify the direction that the bunker exit is facing. Now that the bunker base is operational, set it as your home spawn point. Every few minutes, the tech level you see on the right hand side of the screen will tick up. Start by teching your vote to provisional garrison while you go get some supplies for your new base. Supplying the base will help you tech upgrades faster as well as provide players a spawn point should a fight start in the area. I like to give each bunker base I build at least 20 soldier supplies, one crate of SMGs or rifles, two crates of ammunition, one crate of bandages, and a crate of grenades. Once you arrive back at the bunker with some supplies, start by upgrading each of the bunker pieces to tier 2. With your hammer equipped, press F to enter the upgrade mode and target each bunker piece to the upgrade. Finally, you can upgrade each bunker piece one more time with garrison upgrades. In order for your bunker to fully tech the rifle garrisons, you will need four air garrison upgrades. You can select either the locker room or the bunks from the menu. The differences are only aesthetic and have no impact on the function of your bunker base. As soon as you have the four upgrades, switch your tech vote to rifle garrison. Within a relatively short period of time, you should have enough tech to start building rifle garrisons around your bunker base. Once you have tech rifle garrisons, start digging out bunkers adjacent to your starting building. For f You will get warnings about the loss of bunker upgrades as you start to dig your rifle garrisons. For our purposes, this is fine, as we only intend on building rifle garrisons. However, if you plan to build further upgrades, consider attaching your rifle garrisons with trenches instead of connecting them directly. Using the same process as before, you can upgrade your bunkers by pressing the F key and upgrading to rifle garrisons. Do this one more time to upgrade to tier 2 garrisons, which are much better and have more hit points. At this point, you are almost done. You can see the flags are somewhat tattered and blowing in the breeze. Your bunker base needs to be tier 2 before it will provide defense when enemies are nearby. The length of time it takes to reach tier 2 is based on the amount of activity at the bunker as well as if it is in friendly or enemy territory. You can tell based on the map which is which by hovering your mouse over the different regions. Activity at the bunker includes players setting their spawn points there, building in the vicinity, or supplying it with equipment. After several hours have passed, you should likely have gotten your tier 2 upgrades. I generally go to sleep for the night at this point. You can tell your bunker's current tank level by hovering over the map and seeing the active upgrades highlighted in orange on your bunker. At this point, it is possible to add more rifle garrisons and other outbuildings. Be aware that the area the AI will provide active defenses for is only 80 meters. This includes anti-tank turrets and foxholes. That is all you need to know to build a basic defensive bunker. 
You can experiment with different arrangements to increase your bunker's effectiveness in different areas. My main piece of advice when experimenting is to be aware of the health modifier you can see when trying to upgrade bunker pieces and trying to keep it from being critical. Adding more and more bunker pieces to a structure will decrease its integrity. Try to make your bunkers as effective as possible while using the least amount of bunker pieces. Popular technique in the mid game is to place two rifle garrisons adjacent to a tier 2 bunker piece. Experiment and see what works best for you. You may think your work is over, but nay, it is just beginning. Bunkers require upkeep, and even if you are not personally maintaining one, this is information you should be aware of. After a bunker is initially built, there is a 24 hour grace period whereby no decay will happen to the bunker or surrounding structures. After the grace period has passed, you will notice the bunker and surrounding buildings will start to take damage and need to be repaired. But fear not, there is a way to prevent this decay. By providing bunker supplies or garrison supplies to your bunker, it will be prevented from losing health as time passes on. You will see how many garrison supplies your bunker is consuming on an hourly basis by opening your bunker's context menu and hovering over the symbols in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Both bunker supplies and garrison supplies can be manufactured at the factory using basic materials. Garrison supplies will prevent the decay of all structures nearby your bunker, including rifle garrisons, foxholes, watchtowers, barbed wire, etc. Bunker supplies will prevent the decay of only bunker buildings in the area. Garrison supplies are always consumed before bunker supplies to prevent decay, while bunker supplies will serve as a backup to prevent your hard built bunker from wasting away. All of that being said, when in doubt, you should manufacture and supply garrison supplies to your bunker. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. I hope to provide more foxhole content and tutorials as I spend more time playing, and your help and support keeps the dream alive. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.